Welcome back to Comic Plays Tales of Zillia with the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. And, um, yeah, the episode, the last episode hasn't been released yet at the time of making this, but I imagine there's some excited comments about me complaining about the plot of this game. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to... I didn't mean to say that I don't like the plot of this game, because I just, do. It's just making you angry. I don't... I don't like how Alvin is handled thus far, and it'll probably pay off, but in the meantime, I don't like the setup. Right, okay. I, I, that, that I can understand. I feel like Jude lacks motivation to trust Alvin. Something has been troubling me about these booster devices. Do you remember the experiment Noctagall was conducting at Fort Gondola? Might that have been a test of the booster's capabilities? You're suggesting Roshigal already has booster technology as well. That would be a logical conclusion. That's not good. Even kids like Elise are strong if they have boosters. If both countries were to wage war with booster-equipped soldiers, it would be a catastrophe unlike any the world has ever seen. Would they really risk having such a destructive war? Noctical might. He seems convinced that he could actually win. Especially since he has the Lance of Kresnik. Oh, here you are. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what uh, Ajul is running I'm so here. To find you safe. I don't think Ajul really wants anything to do with this, but if they're provoked into a war, they're yeah. going to fight. Uh, I mean, they're going to have to defend themselves if Rashgul just comes with everything they have. Exactly. Yes, but there's a hitch. Now that we're on the brink of war, we can't fly the Wyverns without royal permission. For that, I'll need to head to the capital, Kanbalar. So wait, you didn't even know if we were allowed to fly the wyverns yet, and you made us go through all this? Well, no, they had permit, they had permission to begin with, but with them at the brink of war, yeah, it's considering risky. what's been happening. Do you think maybe yeah. Fight alongside us? Whoa, hold on. This is a war we're talking about here, not a tavern brawl. I'd like a face-to-face -face chat with the king myself, but for a different reason. I want to ask him for the truth behind the laboratory. I thought you wanted to straight up kill him. It's crucial that we meet um, the not that king. Oh, the king of uh, 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 Kambalar. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Kambalar. I'll get my things together. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there too. Did Zhao tell you that? Oh, we're gonna have like an Advent children situation the here. King truly mm -hmm. wishes to protect his people. He'll give me the answer I seek. If he gives me the wrong that also explains I'll Isla's actions. Yeah. I'll make him swear to never resort to such methods again, by any means necessary. Good idea. Let's go pick the king's brain. Oh, I just remembered. All our luggage is back at the inn. They have luggage? I mean, I guess. I mean, they should have luggage, but you never see any RPG characters carrying luggage. Except in Fire Emblem games and Dragon Quest VIII. Right. In Dragon Quest VIII, you have a wagon, and in Fire Emblem games, you have a supply A convoy. Ah, oh, man. Elise is out of it. Yeah. She just had the very fabric of her reality shattered. I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's like finding out the Easter Bunny and okay. the Tooth Fairy and the Queen of England aren't real. You did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect Elise for us. Well, I was prepared to honor my promise. Keep the faith, oh hollowed spirit. See, you can't be acting like this, all right? We have the moral high ground right now. He's Never way too. With that guy. He he's way too. Black days ago. Yeah, too. that's a good word. Huh? I am strong enough to destroy the Lance of Kresnik as I am now, without the Force power. Wait, you sure it's a good idea to destroy it with the four great spirits still trapped inside? They would likely not survive. They would lose their forms and disintegrate. But I thought the four great spirits couldn't die. Eventually, new great spirits will appear to take their place. Has this happened before? They will before? be a different four, with different wills. So that means the four great spirits that you know, the ones that were always with you, they would just disappear? 
A spirit's personality and memories are unimportant. What matters is a spirit's existence itself. <sighs> Still, I doubt the Four will forgive me for this. You really care about all spirits, don't you? Not just the Great Four, but the lesser spirits, too. Not just spirits. Humans as well. To me, all lives, human and spirit, are equal and precious. She also really likes dogs. And cats. And wyverns, apparently. Yeah, yeah, she's good with them. She's very good with animals. Let's head for Canbalar. But yeah, that's an interesting notion. Like, uh, she said that, like, when if when and if the four great spirits die, right? Uh, hold that thought. Do you ever think about Nia Kara? Ivor will protect it in my absence. There's no need to worry about the village's safety. Oh, I wasn't asking about that. What I meant is, do you ever get homesick? Oh. Sometimes I do miss the purity of Nia Kara air. Well, if you ever want to go back, just say the word. Mm, seems to be suggesting we go back to Nia Kara at some point. Yeah, that, that's, that's a bit of a side quest. Exodus is shadow. This seems more important. It seems that Exodus has slipped through our fingers. There's nothing we can do about that now. They must be as desperate as we are, given their behavior. And what do you intend to do about Alvin? If we send him away, he'll only follow us. And we can't neutralize him by force without risking our own lives. Okay, that's the kind of motivation I'm looking for. The safest solution is to keep him where we can see him. Besides, for good or for ill, that man has the power to change the circumstances of any situation. That is not a power to be dismissed lightly. Nor is the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits. See, that's that's the kind of conversation I need, but like... Why put, like, in why, it, put it in, why put it in a skit and give it to us, like, straight? Yeah, this makes much more sense. Or even if, like, if Alvin went more out of his way to say, like, I, I'm not a member of Exodus, I work for them, I'm a mercenary, I've done jobs for them, but... I mean, that's kind of what he said, but... But, but it's left ambiguous, plus I think that's total bullcrap and that he's actually really entwined with exodus like i'm like i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure the scenario like this is just me like speaking as like i i know what's going to happen right yeah but, but this is, but this you're is me, pretending you don't yeah this is me speaking as someone who like would be going through this for the first time yeah you could possibly argue that uh we could uh uh that that he pretty much has the same relationship with exodus as he does with our own party and that he is sketchy as hell on both ends yeah, sure. He has his own agenda in some way, shape, or form. Just neither party knows what it is. Yeah. Um, I was feeling like Jude never seemed like he had... All right, I'll link with... You know what? We never changed the party back to Mila. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, okay. that's fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, go with um, the leads for this round. Yeah. We were saying we wanted to do some Alvin-Mila linking again and see some of the new things we could do there, but... Oh, yeah, they use items now. Yep. Jerks. Well, now the Santa Claus suits make sense. <laughs> yeah, in this in this weather, yeah. All right, so quick quick shift to Mila. Okay. Um. Like, Jude and Alvin have like spent some moments together. Like, like they've had some character building moments, but it hasn't been like. I don't get the impression that Jude would really be hurt if Alvin wasn't around because that already appeared to be happening several times. Uh-huh. You know, we've already kind of, like... It's not the same as, like, a certain betrayal that happens in Tales of Symphonia. Oh, uh, yeah, I know Not to explain. About. It's not like, like... Like, I don't feel like Jude would have to have that much emotional conflict and getting rid of... Oh, okay, that really that's cool. cool. No, no, I take it back. We need to keep Alvin around. <laughs> <laughs> Worm Wrath. Okay, so there you go. There's your motivation, but uh, uh, no, seriously, like, um, I mean, I, I know Alvin's character, and I can tell you right, r much right now, and this is from speaking from the word of mouth of, like, the commenters, too, it gets better. I'm sure it does. I'm just, I'm just talking about, like, the right now, and that's a JRPG you thing. You told me that normally the four great spirits follow you everywhere. Is that for real? Yes, but... No way! So how does it feel to command them? Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer that. They've always been with me, so it just feels... normal. They're always with you, huh? So I guess it's like Elise and Tipo. Interesting. 
So Elise may feel the same way about Tipo as I feel about the four. When you put it that way, the way I've treated her seems quite insensitive. Hmm? What's wrong? No, it's nothing. I can't afford to get swept up in sentiment at a time like this. That's a little heartwarming there. Yeah. Like, she wants to feel sent- like, Is this, like, an Omega Beast, or... Because it looks different. I think we can fight it. Think so? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. It's just... It looks... It does look dangerous. Big. Okay, snow no. dragon. If there's three of them, they can't be that awful. Um, sorry. Snow dragon. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is that? They're weak to... Fire? I think that's fire. I have Hellpire. Hellpire. Dark Pyre. Ha. Um, yeah, I don't think... Does Rowan have... Rowan has fire stuff, right? He does. Um, that's a water thing, but... But that'll work for now. Okay, no Link Dark yet. Nobody would have noticed there, but I totally used Steel to keep a combo going there. There we go. That was a good one. I mean, they resisted yeah, it, but, you know. But kept keeping it juggled. Okay, um, you should take... Not in this battle, but... Link of three generations. That's good. Yeah, I like, Alvin can't be that much older than Jude. I mean, I'd, I'd no, wager he's, he's in, like, in his early 30s. If that. I would say mid-30s. Mid-30s? Yeah. Okay, then maybe, yeah. I mean, Jude's... Jude, I think, he's like, in his early 20s. Yeah. Sure is cold. You never call me Ellie anymore. Aww. Aww. Even to this... Even to that flavor, to the field text. Don't do that to me, game. I'm impressed with your ability to handle a different weapon in each hand. When I was a kid, I was left-handed. So I worked at strengthening my right arm instead. That shows good combat sense. I imagine you needed special training to learn how to wield a sword with your offhand. That must have been tough! No, it had nothing to do with combat, just part of my daily life. You know me, always a girl on each arm. And it would be rude to handle each of them differently. What? And here I was starting to respect you! I'm leaving! Are two arms even enough for you? With a woman of your stature, maybe not. Good. I'd hate for you to think that you can handle me with just one. Oh. Okay, Mila. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know she's got a sense of humor. And is that? That's. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, no, it's just a. Yeah, it's a. It's a lizard man. Let's or go a for it. Gilman. Okay, I have got to try Hellfire. Um. um. Okay, you have a chain gauge, so just keep going with your... They're all mapped to your... Yeah, he got it. We talked about this before we started. Yep. He, he, Oscar knows what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay. Okay, never hurts to, like, get some extra battles in. Mm -hmm. And keep the experience going. Get some Lilium Orbs. Yep. Um, my... I haven't been showing the Lilium Orb upgrades, but basically what I've been doing is every time a chance presents itself, I try to learn a new art. Mm -hmm. So anytime I see an art on somebody's board, that's what I go for. Yeah, especially when you want to, like, it, what I really like about this game is that, like, not only do you get to learn new arts, like just, like, regular arts, but then that opens the possibilities for, like, linked arts, which are really cool. Yeah. Like, that that adds a new mechanic. That adds a new, uh dynamic to the yeah, combat system. Yeah, it has a lot of depth to it. Even though the enemies are kind of similar in the... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the worm. Yep. Apparently that's a, I, I think, a Latin thing, that, like, worm was a word for dragon, and wyvern has a similar root word. Yeah, it's something like that. Like, I think worm is... I, I don't think worm meant lizard. It's like, it may, it means, like, snake? I think you're right, yeah. I think I think they both derive from, like, a serpent kind of idea. Mm-hmm. What I wouldn't do to be in front of a warm fireplace right now. 
I'd certainly kill for a nice steaming bowl of stew. Oh, you'd kill for stew? Hmm, for once, I understand exactly what you mean. Mila, isn't your stomach cold? It's fine. <laughs> oh, mucus! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're having fun over there. I am. The human body is truly a cumbersome thing. Um, anyway, who's ready to eat? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, let's, uh, let, let's feed our characters here. I'm sorry. Oh, mucus! Reminds me of, um, <laughs> on Futurama, one of their, like, what-if stories. It's, um... Oh, I'll be fine. There's like a what if story about what if Bender was turned human, and like the first thing he does is like, oh look what I can do, and starts throwing up all over the floor. Oh goodness! And like just like goes through like every bodily function he can do. Oh yeah, and apparently air pressure is an earth spell, not a, not a air spell or wind an spell. Earth spell? Yep. Yeah, you can see like the ground cracking. I mean, I can there. understand that, but it's called. Air pressure. Yeah, but I, I guess it's more supposed to be like a gravity thing. I guess I can you know, understand like that. Gravity, planet, Earth. I mean, yeah, I get it. Still, that's a little bit. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I could have called it like. They they could they could have called it like gravity pressure. Yeah. Or like, just gravity. Seismic pressure. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah. Like that that would been good. But oh. then, what's up? Uh, sorry, what were you gonna say? Then again, like uh, we've had like ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous names for different uh, abilities before. Like, I'm trying to think of an example where, like, if, like you're we're told one spell, like, and it has this an obvious theming, but it does different kind of damage. Like, you know, Bot and Kaitos did that a lot. Yeah, about that. Uh, Bot and Kaitos. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, one of my favorite RPGs. It was on the GameCube. It's a card-based, turn-based RPG, so... Better than Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Way better than Chain oh, of absolutely. Memories. First of all, it's a lot. Based. Okay, first of all, a lot of games are better than Chain of Memories, but I digress. I'm not a fan. Um, and, oh, sorry, that is my alarm. That should be off. Um, where was I? Button Kaitos. Button Kaitos. Um, <laughs> and it's, uh, I don't want to talk about new experiences. I want to talk about this game from ten years ago. We're all gonna catch colds at this rate. Oh, a chance to get sick. Do you enjoy having colds? This will be my first time. When I had the four, they wouldn't even let the rain and snow get me wet. But what if you get a fever? Ah, uh, I did experience that when I hurt my legs. I felt like my body was burning up. See, that's why you should try to stay healthy. But I want to experience the sensation of having continuous nasal discharge. I doubt that anyone else wants to see that. It would be funny to see, though. Continuous nasal discharge. I imagine sneezing must be really exhilarating if you've never sneezed before. <laughs> like, you're expelling air at the speed of a bullet. It's pretty much, it is the most violent reaction of the human body. Yeah. So anyway, Botan Kaitos! Botan Kaitos! Um, card-based, turn-based RPG. Um, and it has, everything about the game is weirder than it needs to be, which is kind of why I like it. Um, I mean, you gotta be weird when you're gonna deal with characters like Mizuti. Yeah. Um, and Mizuti is, like, the weirdest thing, but that even that's saying a lot, because every single character in that game is just weird. All the characters have wings, which they never use. And you don't get money from random encounters. The only way to make money is to take pictures of enemies during battle and sell the photographs that's like the best way to earn gold in that game <laughs> and then there's the element system so the cards have six different elements and it's based on like opposites and the whole idea is you don't want to in one attack you don't want to use cards of opposite elements because the damage will cancel out um discard that so it's fire well what's the opposite of fire water, water. makes sense and then you have light which is like ooh, opposite of light is darkness mm -hmm. and then you have Wind, wind and you're like okay what's the opposite of wind chronos you'd think it'd be earth no it's chronos it's time like, time how does that why is chronos the opposite of wind i don't get it i 
honestly don't know. Like, and they don't even explain it either. No, it's not. And like, it's never explained. The elements it's never aren't touched really upon. important, except in the mechanics. It's not like you fight enemies based around like there aren't like the six guardians or anything like that. It's not part of the story. Yeah, it's, it's just basically it's basically how just it is. All, it's basically just all about keeping your cards in check. <laughs> if you play your cards right, Ugh. I like this town. It's an odd bird. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashigal. So we got the kind of Rashigal is proto Europe and Ajul is proto Asia. We're doing Whoa, we're doing that kind of thing. Check those out. That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbalar was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Don't they look fun? I bet we could see forever in one of those. Ouch. How do we go about meeting the king? That's the look of every <laughs> school teacher. <laughs> for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Many people come to the capital seeking an audience, so you may need to wait a bit. I suggest resting at the inn until I get back. Did we ever tell him that his fiance smuggles not. orphans? He does not know about it yet. Without Jurgen's help, uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I feel like the least we could do is not let him unknowingly marry an or orphan smuggler. I mean, former orphan smuggler. This one still. I, I just feel like that part of her life has never really been resolved. It hasn't, especially since, like, Like, now she doesn't have to be a villain forever now or anything, but, like... Like, the th things just came rushing back now that Elise is in the picture again. So, like, when's the last time that she smuggled an orphan? Like, we don't know. Mm -hmm. She She could have done it last week. And, I mean, you know, maybe... The forces of so the uh, of Rashigal were like twisting her arms into view. it, but sure like, like maybe she really didn't have a choice in the matter. But then, even more reason to tell her fiance, you know? Yeah. Build a school in the frontier area. It's something we need for the future of Ajul. Okay, Gaius. I've heard that name before. Yep, King well, Gaius. Looks like we're. <laughs> I like how there's this long line to see the king, and I just. Walk on through. I mean, I know that guy let, like, is getting me through, though. So, now that we're through, I think next time on Tales of Zillia, we'll be meeting King Gaius. That's the way it looks like it's going to work. Yeah, uh, hopefully. But so far, we need... First, we need to go to the inn. Is that is that what it said? No, that's what, uh... uh that's what, uh... Was that the objective? That's what Jurgen said. Oh, yeah, head to the inn. All right, then. So, thank you guys for joining us. I'm the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. Next time, we meet King Gaius. Hopefully. Oh. Uh, yep. Can take the sidecars back down. Yep. Maybe we can do some shopping uh, in between. Just to make sure everything's in check. That's what I was thinking, too. See you guys then.